extra bake in here. Um, just thought I'd share with you some of the things I've been buying recently on eBay, um, local shops, Etsy um, and charity shops. Um, on Etsy I was in Jennings 644, it's Fiona's shop and she has some lovely papers. I hope you can, these are all like, embossed and this one is the World Travel. Some lovely colours and patterns in here. <coughs> so a, a few different projects I want to do with these things and they're quite good for men working male stuff because you never know what to do for a lot of male cards and different things to make for them. So I'll just quickly flick through these. These are really good quality. They're thick. You hear that? And oh, I just love it. It's the embossed kind of way that's on them. It gives them that clear embossed. So they're really nice. Um, blues and greens and words on them. So checkers and different colours. You can see this okay. Um, I don't know what that is. That's like a dino cog. You know the dino machine? Some arrows, some plain paper, nice mustard yellow. This one is the film strips, and then this is Rich and Famous, more film show ones, another Rich and Famous, and these are lovely, I hope you don't get too much of glare, that's the gold, nice background papers and just really really good quality and very lush, so I can't wait to get started with that, lots of ideas for those, so that one was Tattered, no that's World Travel, I'll put that out the way, the other one that I got was Tattered Time and these are really steampunky and they're in it's like the cogs and the clocks and all the rest of it. And again they're all embossed and I love this one. I think that's so cute. It's like the tape measures but each of the tape measures is in clear embossed as well. So I will really cut that up and use bits and bobs of that. Some music. I like these because you can cut out the tiles and just use the old letters that's on it. All for letters. Some old writing. These, I like that. It's lovely. And dominoes. Clocks. These are really, I hope you don't get too much of glare off these, but they're so, I just love them. They're really, really nice. And that. Hmm. Different papers. I really don't know. If, I don't know what kind of papers these would be. Oh, I like this. These are the sort of tags and everything as well. Oh, it's great. Tickets, that's what it is, not tags. Again, more embossed way in that. More alpha layers. Oh wow, love the colour of that one. Nice browns. Oldy worldy stuff as well, they're really nice. Okay, great, so that's that set as well. So that's two sets. I think it's like 25 sheets in each set. Um, I also had some flour from Fiona. Um, Sorry Fiona, I should have done a video before I did this, but um, that's all I've got left, is that, out of the 20 stems. I had them, um, and they are really, really nice. Um, I used the name, so thank you for that one Fiona. And as an extra Fiona included in my parcel, these little bird's nests with the little eggs and some feathers in them, so I've got a couple of projects. Um, to get started with, so I'll use them in that. Thank you, Fiona. Um, she also sent me some flower buttons, which, um, see, they were falling out here the other day and I couldn't get to stay in, and now I can't get them to come out to show you. So, here we go. That's that. They're just like white acrylic kind of roses with a button box. But I will um, use them, great in the middle, setting off some flowers or just as say uh, accents and different projects. So I'll use them. Thank you for that. It's very handy. Now she also sent me. Oh, I've got it all stuck down here. Sorry. This um, acetate, and it's a. Uh, hmm, where did I see this now? Vinyl, is it? Uh, 
go to www.momenta.com for instructions and inspiration. So I will have to go a look along there for you know because it's there it is, it's vine acetate. So I'm gonna go along, see if I can get some inspiration, but it's lovely stuff, it really is nice. So I'll have a play about that, I might cut it out or do a few different things, I'm not sure exactly yet, but thank you very much for that Fiona, that's very kind. Um, I also, uh, on eBay, I sent off for some keys, because I don't have any keys, and it was my own fault. I thought I had ordered one, there's 10 different keys, um, and I thought key 10, as it says on here, was the 10 different keys, but as it happened, I actually ordered 10 of the, I think these are measuring it like just, was it 15 millimetre keys? And I hope you can see those there. They are really, really cute, but boy, they're fiddly, and I have used some of these um, on the same project that I used all the flowers I got from Fiona on. Um, so they are gone. <laughs> But these are just so so tiny and cute. They're like a love heart in the key, and they're they are brass ones. And that's from Charming Designs in DNA. So I've saved them on my eBay account, and they are quite nice, nice little charms. Well, extras. Right, I've got to get moving on here because I've got quite a lot of stuff I've been getting, and I'm going to run out of time. Um, I went along and I grabbed. I got some bags of odds and sorts of buttons at the charity shop and some little wooden but what are the buttons over there but I thought I could use them so I think it was 20p for that so it goes I also on eBay again I picked up this um chipboard book and it's a tabbed book and it's got lots of pages in it and I think I might actually try and make a smash book out of this so I've got plenty of really nice papers and embellishments and I thought well, that would be really good and I only got that, I think it was £2.50 a paper so I thought that was a really good deal and this is a Maya Road chipped, a tab chipboard book and it's got 10 pages and a 7 inch by 5 inch wide so that would be something good to do I also love Tim Holtz and I bought one of his stamps and this is the Grunge Alphabet now I actually thought they were coming this size. I must learn to read instructions better. This came as one stamp. But not to worry because I will stamp it and I will use the... I can always cut out and use the letters that I wanted to use. But I'm sure I'll make good this. Um, and that's the Grunge Alphabet and that's CMS008. So I got that on eBay as well. I went along to some charity shops. This one actually my husband got me. Um, I give him a list of things and he sees what I'm working on and he, when he's out he has a nose as well see what he can pick up for me. And he got this wooden box and it's just, it's actually it's in perfect condition. Um, 30p, <laughs> can't believe it. It's got a lovely little hinge. It works perfect. I can't believe he got that money. And what I think I might actually decorate this up and what I thought my alcohol inks that I have would fit in this. Perfect. So, thank you. I'll use that. Another charity shop buy. Um, you'll see I was working on a heart shaped, an altered heart box that I gave to mum today and she loved it for her birthday. These were, these came, they match in with the same stuff. And there was two butterflies and the heart and each of them were 10 pounds each. So I grabbed them both and I thought I can all of these as well and they would make a nice wall decorations or I'll get something with them but they're there as well. Um, another charity shop buy is just one of these little boxes with note cards and envelopes in it. I think I'll probably discard them and decorate this up again and alter the box or I might make a mini album to fit in that I think. So that was another one. I have a thing about boxes, just in case you hadn't noticed. Um, my husband was out again and picked up this little box for me. And also it's like really kind of knackered. It's great because it'll 
older and I can actually make a little shelf to put in there um, and make it into another trinket box. Unfortunately when we got it, it was actually locked and there was no key. So my husband broke into it for me and now it's ready for me to distress, well it's, it's quite distressed already right now, but to alter it and make that into something nice. Another charity shop buy. I've been hitting them wildfire now. It's this picture room. Doesn't look like much now, but 50p again. I thought, oh well, I'll take that and see what I can do. So that's another buy. Um, another charity shop. What did I get here? I got this 5 by 7 inch full frame, which is wood, and I thought, well, I could make this really nice and shabby sheet and some flowers and butterflies and things that I could put on. I just think, oh, make that into a lovely picture frame. Just tart it up a bit. Um, the other thing I've been buying, I found these on eBay and they are really, really quite delicate. Um, I have a video to upload of my mum's birthday card that I made for my dad and uh, I use these on it and they're just little bits of wire and I mean you could now when I see it like that you can make them yourself but I think I got six packets of these five or six packets and there's six butterflies on the stems in each packet so it was 36 I got in total and these are the white pearls with silver and I've got the little diamonty you can see that and they've got the diamonty sparkling bling Really delicate, really stunning, and um, I think by three twenty-five I paid for them for the thirty-six. And there's just no way you could you would easy pay a couple of pounds in the shop for them. And I just thought, no, I'm having them, so I had them. I also got these little flowers on eBay, and they're different, but they are very, very, very breakable. And I think they call them doe flowers. Um. And they're just in plain white, but they, um, I thought I could take either my alcohol inks to them or Tim Holtz Distress and inks, and they're all in wires. And I got, I think there's about 12 of them in a bunch, and I got quite a few bunches of them as well. And they weren't too, I think they were about five pounds or something like that, they weren't dear at all. So I've got a few of them, but when they came home, they were all well wrapped and bubble wrapped and everything, but there's a few of the petals had fallen off with them being dull. But it really doesn't make any odds to them, and I think they're really nice. And I've used them for actually wrapping presents and decorating things up, but they are stunning, sparkly, and catch your eye. Um, I bought some other little flowers on eBay. Um, I got these tiny little rosebuds, and they are really small. And I just bought them in white because um, I have the Tim Holtz um, Distress Ink Pads, and what I've been doing is you can see I've been using some of them just been colour tinting them with the distress inks and then spritzing them with water to let it bleed into the flower petals and they look great so I just took them in white because I thought I don't need a whole lot of colours they are available in other colours but I just took white so again I got oh, loads and loads of them for a few pounds as well so they were quite cheap um, again I've been I've just shown you these ones because these are the ones I've been working on I got these, I think there's seven different packs of this one, so I got diff seven different colours, there was blue, cream, um, red, peach, blue, green, um, some red and cerise I think, so I got packs of them as well, um, loads of projects and boxes I want to alter and I've been making notebooks so I've been putting like, flower sprays on the front and I thought well these would be really handy and at the money they were at, these weren't dear either but there's some hot blue stuck on that. Um, I took a few of them to keep me going. So they're good too. And what else? Oh yes, um, my box projects, my shoe boxes and other projects, I had bought some acrylic paint and it's not the cheapest thing ever. But I decided, well, I was going to go and get it in bulk. So I bought some of this from a little craft store. Um, and it's a 500 milliliter of the acrylic titanium white. And that's the Winsor & Newton type, and I think I paid 16 50 for that, which is quite dear, I've discovered in hindsight, but I just needed it, and it was local, I got it. Next one will be online, I think I'll be getting that. Um, and I bought the 
System 3 original acrylic introductory set because it has a range of colours and I thought well I can mix them with the white because I don't want all strong colours, it's pastel colours I'm after and I can mix them down and just make up pots and I've actually been watching how I mix them so I can get the same colour. They were 14 95 for that set but hopefully they'll keep me going for a while along with the white. I've since heard, um, found out that you can get some kind of pot like this that um, was expanding paste or I don't know what they call but it's something that you can mix with your acrylic and it makes it last longer, it makes it more economical, your acrylic paint, so I might look at that next. So I have the... Whoa! <coughs> what else do I... Oh yes! And it's been a standard joke between me and my husband because I was making flowers and what I needed to get, and I asked him, because he goes into charity shops and has a look around at books and old knickknacks, I had asked him, would you mind next time you're in buying me an old book? Oh, he says, why would you want that? And I said, well, I'm going to make flowers out of it. Well, his idea to that was like, oh no, you can't take a book and just make a mess of it and rip it up. And he thought it was like sacrilegious. I says, I don't want anything fancy. I just need an old book that's going to have the weather pages and it's old and slightly distressed looking. And he kind of said no. So I give up the hope that this would ever come to anything. But lo and behold... Here he is, he's got a Chambers 20th century dictionary for me at a local charity shop and I think he paid a pound for it. So I've got all of these papers now to go and rip up and do as I want with. And because it's got thinner type paper, all I do is um, cut out rough circles with, I like using my deckled edge scissors and um, Distress them um, with some of the dis Tim Holtz Distress inks, like the Finish Photo or the Walnut Stain, or any colour you want actually, because once you scrunch them up, you wet them, and splits them, and layer them up and put them back together again, and they look great. And this text and things in it is brilliant. The other thing I'm thinking to do is picking out certain words, like, um, for instance, if we flick through here and we get, now you're going to see how good I am at using a dictionary. Not very. <clears throat> for instance, here we have the word craft, right upside down to you. So what I might do with that is if I cut round, I have a few bottle tops and I was going to make accents and charms and possibly necklaces and I thought well if I cut that out to the shape to fit in the bottle top, fill it up with some um, glossy accents, it'll make a great charm. and. I thought I'd just pick different words and I can make accents of whatever I want with them. Um, and then the other pages I can just rip out and make into flowers. So I've got a whole book that will last me a long time. Um, I think that is all my purchases. So um, my first haul video. Loads of projects I have to do. So um, I will be back again soon because I've got an upload of a few different things I've finished. I must get them uploaded to you. So we'll be back soon. And thanks for watching. Bye.